Good evening, parents and students of our current upperclassmen. Thank you for taking the time out of your busy schedules to join us for this event. The focus of tonight's presentation will help you make informed decisions that will have a positive influence on your child's future and to learn about the changes in our 2021-2022 educational planning guide. In just a few moments, I'll turn this presentation over to our five school counselors, Mrs. Knight, Mrs. Gebhard, Mrs. Sorbier, Mr. Carmona, and Mr. Thompson, who will explain everything you need to know in order to make the best decisions possible for scheduling next year and beyond. Once they've completed their presentation, I'll come back for a few final words. So at this time, I'm turning the presentation over to Mrs. Jennifer Knight. Thank you, Mr. Groff. Um, we are the, we at the counseling office are, are very happy to be a part of this presentation. Uh, course registration is something we spend a lot of time on. So the one wh where we would like to start is actually the back of your educational planning guide. This is a very important part of, of um, course registration. The very top is our a listing of our Cedar Crest high school graduation requirements. And I'm not gonna read them all, but I think it's very important for your student and you to sit down and go through this and really understand what it takes to graduate from Cedar Crest High School. Um, we only have four years to get in quite a lot of required courses, but then also to get in those other classes that you can really make your junior and senior year your own. So um, what we like to do also is direct you to the very bottom of the back page, and that offers a four-year planner or a graduation requirement tracker also, where you can you know, not only in 10th grade plan your 10th grade courses, um, or plan your 11th grade courses, but then also look ahead to 12th grade and make sure that you can fit in everything that you could possibly want. You know, one of the best examples is our um, computer science department. The courses offered there really, you've, it's almost like a puzzle to try to fit those all in. And so trying to plan that from as early as 10th grade on can really, really be beneficial. And that is the same for, for many of our other um, electives. So we just like to include that to help you plan out um, the rest of your high school career this year. Some key graduation requirement reminders include that the students need to register for six credits during their senior year, although they can take the seven credits. Students, seniors must pass a minimum of five credits. Sophomores and juniors must register for seven credits. Um, Part of the requirements that we do need for graduation are a half credit of business and career development, do-it-yourself home improvement, or introduction to tech and problem solving. For the class of 2022 and 2023, Falcon Academy meets that requirement. Students also need a half credit in any family consumer science course. And for the complete list of graduation requirements, check the back of your educational planning guide. Also for this year, we have added Healthful Living. It's a college and the high school course. It does not count as a PE and it's available for students in grades 11 and 12. We also have added Intramural Sports, which is a half credit PE class. For math and computer, we've changed some of the names of our courses and those are outlined in your educational planning guide. Computer Science Foundations is no longer a college and the high school course. For those of you that are in music, we um, also have changed um, that um, that course title. So we, anyone going into 10th, 11th, and 12th, you'll be actually choosing symphonic band um, this year. So that is a change. And then finally, the, de de the deleted courses for 2021, 2022 are listed here. So no longer advanced fit three, discrete math, introduction to information systems. We'll no longer have wind ensemble as it used to be. Um, World History 1 and 2 are deleted for 2021-22, and the ever-popular Student IT Clever Desk um, will not be offered for the 2021-2022 school year. So our timeline for course registration has already started. Um, the counselors were in your students' English classes um, in start, you know, starting in mid-January, and starting on January 27th, the portal opens for students to start putting their courses into Skyward online, and then they're going to turn in all of their paperwork by February 5th. 
And to assist with this process, we know sometimes parents would like to meet with the counselors as well. We do have some evening office hours available. Um, students can certainly meet with us during the day, but if any students can't get in during the day or parents would like to be a part of those discussions, our office hours um, in the evening will be Tuesday, February 2nd from 2.30 to 4, Wednesday, February 3rd from 2.30 to 7, Thursday, February 4th from 2.30 to 4. And while drop-ins are welcome, appointments are appreciated um, just so that when you get here, you're not waiting for a long time. All right, and just to talk about the course registration steps, okay? We call them steps to success for students. The very first thing you wanna do is just make sure you have the, the material. You need an educational planning guide and a course registration contract. There's also a third um, document that's called the course registration guide. So you want all three of those. And if you or if your student did not get those through his or her English class, then just stop by the counseling office. We actually have those out front that they can just grab what they need, or they can come on in the counseling office and, and talk to the, our secretaries. Then what I'm what Ms. Gebhard was just talking about is at this point, they should be discussing their options with their current core teachers. They will be recommending those and those will be put into Skyward for them and the students won't be able to make changes to this. So if there's any discrepancies online when you go to put in your course registration, you'll want to talk to your teacher right away. Um, you can also talk to your counselor about that. Um, and just a reminder, the option to review the course registration video that we actually shared with the students in our presentations, that is available on the counseling office website. So we're going to show you exactly um, a, the website and we're going to show you where to find that um, a little bit later in this presentation. But definitely just review that course registration video um, with your student. Next, you wanna review all course registration materials um, with your students and, and students, with your parents and guardians. Complete the course selection on Skyward by February 5th, and then you're gonna hand in that course registration contract by February 5th as well. So those things are done before February 5th. So as part of our district's mission statement, um, empowering students to reach their individual potential, Cedar Crest really wants to work hard with our students to make sure they all have a plan for their life after they leave leave the walls of Cedar Crest High School. And part of that process is working through a graduation requirement called Project Life. Project Life actually begins in elementary school, but when they get to the high school, there are components of it that are required in order to graduate. But these, these components are all part of a career exploration pro process. And starting in ninth grade, they're going to do some career assessment surveys. That continues through 10th and 11th grade, but we also have students learning to um, design and build resumes. Um, they get out and they job shadow. They visit colleges or, or military recruiters or technical schools as part of all of this process. Um, the counselors do work closely with, with the students on their progress with Project Life. And we do typically in a normal year have assemblies that will help um, keep students on track for that process. Part of the Project Life graduation requirement is a Falcon Future Consult, which occurs in the junior year. And these Falcon Future Consults are, are great. They're 45 minute sessions that each student has with their school counselor to discuss post-secondary planning, career research, um, their progress in the Project Life course overall, um, and general course registration options for their senior year, because we wanna make sure that um, all students know about and are aware of all of these great individualized options that we offer here at Cedar Crest so that they can make the best plan for their future. You know, looking at the senior year, we have a lot of great opportunities for our students to engage in. Uh, this slide here just shows you uh, a variety of those. You know, we'll talk a little bit more about each of these in the next couple of slides. Uh, the one we don't talk about in a minute here is the, the, the co-op internship. And that is just something that is a great way for students to you know, look at a way to get credit here in school as well as get exposure to a potential future career, either in the workforce or in the professional force. So these are just opportunities we want to highlight to make sure that as seniors look to that last year here in high school, that we have a lot of unique opportunities. You know, Mr. Thompson, something that I always say during these presentations to seniors is if you have if you have a boring senior year or you have an awful senior year, 
it really is your fault because there are so many opportunities to make your senior year exactly what you want it to be and to get experience in your field in any way possible, whether that's through, like you said, on the job training or whether that's through college courses um, or something like an EMT. So we will talk about those coming up, but seniors, you can make your senior year extremely fun and extremely personal. So. Yeah, thank you, Mrs. Knight. And you know, here talking about that, you said the college and the high school, here's another way for you just to make um, your senior year just your year. And you know, college and the high school classes are a great way to get some college credit at a you know an extremely discounted cost. You see, you know, we have the cost up there that it was uh, between two twenty five and three hundred as you know for a class year, but now that is a total cost. So that's not per credit, that's the total cost. Now, whereas you take those same courses at those institutions and that number you see there, but 225 or 300 is what you're going to pay per credit. So you're close to like three, you know, $900 potentially. Um, it is to note that there is no financial aid um, available for our classes here. So, it, it, you know, it's a cost that will come out of pocket, but you're thinking about the future and overall, um, this really is just a great way for if you're planning on doing secondary education, get a jump start on that get some exposure of, to the discipline and curriculum that is required for a high school class, and you'll get it at a discounted cost. Um, it is to note that these classes are taught here in Cedar Crest High School by teachers who are certified. So your students would come to school like normal, take the class in their schedule, but they'd have the opportunity to get college credit if they, if they wanted to by paying that cost. And again, it's by our teachers here uh, in the high school. Now, kind of switching gears again, just you know, to, this is a um, uh, take a, an opportunity to take a college class, but this is in dual enrollment. So this means that um, the student is going outside of the high school to find a class. So you know, either by a local college. I've had students in the past get approved to take classes from the um, SUNY, which is the state system of New York, because uh, they were going to go there after high school to get just a jump on some of their math classes up there. So the student would it be an elective and they would um, have to get approval by uh, Mr. Groff before they could put it on a schedule or we could you know, approve it. But they would um, go, you know, take their classes and, you know, give us the transcript afterwards and it would go on their transcript here as um, a completed class from whatever institution that is. And we do have some really unique ones with uh, PA Health College, Betty Stevens and Hack, where um, for the Thaddeus Stevens one, for example, they are, they are pre-approved and then during their senior year, they actually spend all day over at Thaddeus Stevens enrolled and getting a jump start on their the first year of their program there. So again, uh, this is just a, another way for, you know, another example for our students to have an individualized, unique experience tailored to what they really want. And as Mrs. Knight said, um, to have just a super exciting senior year that they get to choose their own adventure for. And uh, with uh, here, just kind of a little bit more, so you can find on that um, the EPG, the Educational Planning Guide, here's just where you can find some more information in there about the Hack Dual Enrollment. Again, the Thaddeus Stevens partnership there, you see a little bit more detail on that, that the senior students, in it, it is 50% off the regular tuition cost. So that's something that, um, again, it's huge discount for our students if they go into that program. And, um, you see there, but the Pennsylvania College of Health Sciences, the dual enrollment partnership is 50% off their tuition rate, so again, half off, and they're transferable outside of the Pennsylvania College of Health Sciences. So just um, incredible ways for our students to get exposure to post-secondary opportunities here during their high school career. All right, and something else that, um our juniors and seniors are eligible for is um, enrollment at the Lebanon County Career and Technology Center. Now students that would attend there are still Cedar Crest students. It's just an extension of our curriculum. It's just out of the building. So they do have 23 different programs there. Um, those programs range anything from plumbing and welding, those hands-on technical programs, to dental, um, assistant and sports therapy and pastry and culinary. So there's quite quite a few different options for students over at the CTC. So we do encourage you to check those out. You can find those on page in your EPG on page um, four. 
and also the full descriptions that are in the very back of the EPG. So if you are interested, um, new applicants, there's an online application only. You can um, go to the website listed below here, which is www.lccctc. Dot edu back, or forward slash enrollment forward slash or you um, can also go back to your skyward and I did email this to you on January 8th um, of this year. One of the things I just want to add on the CTC slide Mrs. Knight is I always encourage students to apply to the programs. It's very competitive to get in and after the deadline for application it's difficult to find a seat for you in one of those programs. Yes, that's a, a very, very good point. So the other individualized options that we offer here, I'm, I'm not going to read all this to you, but um, you know, we really want to stress the emergency medical technician program. It's a fairly new program here. We've only had it probably maybe four, four or five years. Um, and we have students doing amazing things through this through this course um, out in the community it would cost over a thousand dollars but here at Cedar Crest it's only 205. It is extremely rigorous though we do consider it an honors or an AP level course so um, you know it's, if you are going into the health careers field it's definitely one of the options that can really really decorate your resume um, and your transcript um, by by getting this certification and then the co-op and internship program here at Cedar Crest. I, I think this is kind of like a, a hidden gem, to be honest. It's it's something that a few students take the opportunity every year, but not nearly enough. Um, again, just kind of like the dual enrollment where you're able to go out there and, and go to any college and find a course that would fit your major. This would be someone who you know wants on the job experience during their senior year that's gonna really move them forward um, in gaining experience toward their career. So we have an internship that is just a half year um, for two periods. You do not get paid um, and you can do something like going to our middle school and doing an internship with a teacher. Um, you could do an internship. I know one year we had a student do an internship at the Lebanon County Chamber of Commerce. And so if you have a connection in your field, you could set up an internship. That would just be two periods, like period seven and eight, half year. You, if you're having a great time, you could extend it full year. Um, if you don't have a connection but are still interested, um, our teacher, Mrs. Sullivan, would be um, happy to help you find something in your field. But then different is a co-op position. We have many students who go out to the world of work during their senior year, um, and this co-op the students could actually be going during the day so they could leave after period five they could get paid during the school day and earn college or sorry earn um, cedar crest credit for that experience so a co-op would be three periods of the day for a full year and then an internship two periods of the day for half year or you can extend it um, again if you don't have a connection in the you know to do a co-op mrs sullivan would be happy to to do that. Now there is an application process, so um, you would you're going to apply online. And if you do watch that video that we um, that we went over with the students during their presentation, the the link to that is there. And then we have early graduation. Um, early graduation is an option for all students as long as you are on track to graduate. Um, seniors can graduate in January and begin their post-secondary career, whether that's military, going into the college, or a specific workforce. And here are some examples. We did have um, someone who was certified at EMT here at Cedar Crest, and they began, uh, he was able to begin his one year required on the job training at first aid and safety patrol during his senior year by doing the co-op program. Um, and then that was going to qualify him. He needed one year experience, so that was going to qualify him, you know, a half a year earlier to then go to the Reading Area Community College for paramedic school. So um, that was him going directly in the workforce. So he works full time now um, at our first aid and safety patrol. We did have a student who attended Hack. She did dual enrollment, so she took a full course load during the first semester of school. So she didn't come to Cedar Crest at all. Um, and then she, what her goal was to begin college early and possibly even um, play soccer 
in the spring. So she was getting a head start on that. And then finally, we've had students in the past take advantage of enlisting in the military early. Um, you know, these students were able to begin um, their military career early by attending boot camp in the spring and then allowing them to get their specialty training even earlier than others in the class of 2021. Um, you know, and that that can be a competitive program to get into. So those are just three examples. Literally, if you can propose it, you more than likely will get accepted if it's really beneficial for your career and your future. And there is an application process for that. So you would want to see um, your counselor. Now you must be on track to graduate or, and if you're not, we're gonna check by you know January 1. And if you're not, we will have to pull that early graduation um, option. Um, you will I just be keep in mind you will have to take a rigorous course load semester one because you have to get a full credit of English in. You might have to get a government or other graduation requirements, so you will have to take a full course load. And then finally, there is going to we had our first ever ceremony this year and it was amazing. And so we do offer a, a mid year ceremony for those that are going to graduate early. And one more uh, one thing that we wanted to highlight during this presentation is just how important our counseling office website is. So if you go to our Cornell Lebanon School District and then go to the high school site um, along the side, it says counseling services and then it brings you to this page. We offer a lot of information on just post secondary. We offer resources there. Um, the College and Career Center really has um, is Mrs. Follett's portion of our website. She has amazing resources on there and there she's um, changing those basically every week or every month. She's adding something more. This is also where you would find scholarship information for your senior year. We have a section called course selection. So all of the paperwork, all of the videos that you would need, that's going to be listed in our website there. We have community resources listed and then again project life more information on project life and all of the resources the paperwork um, and just sites to do if you have to do a virtual job shadow or something so our website is extremely helpful and it's continually changing so i would just add that maybe to your bookmarks at the top of your um of, of your web page and and visit us often there and so i'm going to turn it back over to mr groff um, for some closing comments i appreciate your time and willingness to view tonight's program the information you heard from our school counselors is extremely important please know we're here to answer all of your questions and as a resource the link to tonight's program will remain active so that you can refer back to specific sections over the next couple weeks as you register for your courses again thank you for your time please stay safe and have a wonderful night